A particle p moves along a straight line such that at time t seconds, where t is greater than or equal to zero, after leaving point O on the line, the velocity is given by this equation here. We want to find the value of t at the instant when p stops accelerating. So, for part A, we want to work out what is t when acceleration is zero. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, so dv dt. Velocity, if we expand out the equation that we have over here, becomes minus 2t squared plus 7t minus 4t, which is plus 3t plus 14. So acceleration, which is dv dt, would then be minus 4t plus 3. Set the acceleration equal to 0. So minus 40 plus 3 is 0. And then we end up with t is equal to 3 over 4 seconds. And that's part A. So pretty straightforward there. And then for part B, find the distance of p from O at the instant when p changes its direction of motion. OK, so let's draw out a velocity time graph for this scenario. And then it will be easy to think about how we can work this out. Our equation for velocity is 7 minus 2t times t plus 2. I'll set this equal to 0 so we can work out what the roots are of this equation, so where this graph crosses the time axis. That will be when 7 minus 2t is 0 and when t plus 2 is 0. So this gives t is equal to 7 over 2 and this gives t is equal to minus 2. Those two points are here and here and then we want to think about, does our graph look like this? Does our graph look like this? Well, if we look at the expanded form of this equation up here, we can see that the t squared term is negative, and therefore it must have this kind of shape. So that looks something like something like that. OK, and then we're trying to work out the distance of p from the origin, from point O, when p changes its direction of motion. So what does that mean exactly? So from this graph, if we look at this region here, this is when the velocity is positive. This region here, this is when the velocity is negative. We're not considering anything on this side. That will be when time is negative, and we don't need to worry about that. That's not part of our model. So when our velocity changes from positive to negative, that's when the object changes from moving forwards to moving backwards. In the blue region, the velocity is positive, the object's going forwards purple region, velocity is negative, the object's going backwards. So this point right here is the point where the object changes from going forwards to backwards. So we're trying to work out the distance from 0 seconds to 7 over 2 seconds. We can work that out by integrating velocity. So if we integrate velocity between 0 and 7 over 2, that gives us this area here. And that is the area we want to work out. So our equation for velocity is what we have up here. Put that in. Minus 2t squared plus 3t plus 14. Integrate this between 0 and 7 over 2. So this is then minus 2t cubed over 3 plus 3t squared over 2 plus 14t and then we can just put in the, the two limits, so 0 and 7 over 2. So put in 7 over 2, we end up with 931 over 24. Put in 0, you just get 0. So the final answer would then just be 931 over 24 meters.